Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about CD molecules. So, let me write CD molecules. Now, this CD is usually stand for a cluster differentiation. Cluster different CDs molecule. These are actually. CDs molecules. Now, what are the CDs molecules? CDs molecules or clustered uh, differentiation are those molecules which are usually present on a WBC or let me write here they are usually present on the amino cells. Present on amino cells. We have lymphocytes, we have uh, monocytes. Okay, all these cells are actually amino cells. Now, these are the membrane protein like molecules. If I draw the amino cells here, now on the amino cell surface, on the outer membrane area, there are the protein like membrane protein like molecules as you are watching. So, these are sometimes you know protein molecules or sometimes we call that receptors. Okay, now these CD molecules are usually used to identify different kinds of leukocytes. Remember, when the leukocytes have CD molecules, then we can identify different kinds of the uh, amino cells. Okay, moreover, we have almost 300 types of the leuco, uh, this CD molecules. We have these cd molecules have both biological and diagnostic significance okay and moreover whenever uh, these cd molecules are present on the cell surface of the amino cells then due to this way we can determine the cell identity let's suppose we have uh, the uh, let's suppose this is the amino cells and let's suppose if they have cd molecule we call that uh, if they have cd4 molecules so such amino cells will be against on HIV virus. HIV virus. Okay, we already discussed the HIV life cycle and uh, we already discussed the HIV structure, everything. Okay, if you missed that video lecture, it is present into my channel, you can watch it. Now, moreover, if the cells have, let's suppose this is the CD34, Okay, now when the cell have CD34 proteins or receptors, then we call that cell stem cell. Then this cell is called as a stem cell. Okay, so we have uh, you know uh, different kind, uh, different kinds or different types of uh, CD molecule. There are almost 300 uh, types of uh, CD molecules are identified. Okay, so let me erase this one portion and let me explain different kinds of the CD4 molecules. Although we talked that there are 300 types of CD molecules, but here we will explain uh, a little. But here we will explain a few of CD molecules. Okay, not a lot. Okay, because we don't have any space. We will discuss all those CD molecules which are very important in our daily life and which are very important in the immunology. So let me write each of the CD molecules. The first CD molecules we have was, now we have CD1, A, B and C. This is the CD molecules or a type of CD molecules which are specially uh, this CD molecules is just like uh, MHC1 so it is just like MHC1 molecules okay inshallah in, in the next video lecture we are going to explain MHC1 and MHC2 molecule okay now it is just like MHC1 molecule and it is specially used for the lipid lipid uh, antigen presentation lipid antigen presentation then we have next uh, cd molecules we call that uh, cd3 molecules we have cd3 sigma 
and uh, gamma and epsilon now these are another cd molecules now these are actually the t cell antigen receptor gen receptor then we have another cd molecule we call that uh, cd4 molecules okay now this cd4 molecules are usually present uh, right these are usually present on monocyte t cell and macrophages macro phages and these cd4 molecules are usually present with the mhc2 uh, with mhc2 molecules okay uh, if let's suppose we have this one cells let's suppose we have amino cells now with the amino cells we have what we have mhc2 molecules so let's suppose this is what this is the mhc2 molecules with this mhc2 molecules we have cd four molecules okay now then these this is actually the structure of monocyte t cell and macrophages okay because each uh, cd4 cd4 molecule and uh, uh, mhc2 molecule are usually present on the t cell macrophages and monocyte then we have another molecule cd we call that cd8 molecule now the cd8 molecule are usually present on cytotoxic t cell cyto toxic t cell and it is as we discussed that uh, cd4 molecule are present with mhc2 molecule and this cd8 molecule will be present with mhc1 molecule okay of the cytotoxic t cell then we have another cd molecule we call that cd11 a b and c now this cd11 abc are actually the anti green these are what these are this alpha subunit of anti green alpha subunit of anti green anti green okay uh which these are the alpha subunit of the anti green that are usually present on the lymphoid stem cell and myeloid stem cell then we have another cd molecules we call that we call it cd19 okay the cd19 are actually the b cell receptor b cell co receptor these are what these are actually the b cell co receptor okay then we have we call that cd25 the cd25 are usually present on b cell t cell and monocyte okay these are these cd25 are actually int, uh, alpha interleukin 2 molecules these are what these are the interleukin 2 alpha chain molecules okay we have another cd molecules we call that uh, molecule we call it cd34 now these cd34 are actually they are specially uh, used against the silic acid silic acid against the silic acid and it is present uh, and these are what these cd34 are actually stem cell protein stem cell protein we have another cd molecule we call that cd45 and these are actually tyrosine phosphatases phosphatases which are usually present in hemopoietic cells then we have another cd molecule we call it cd56 now this is, this cd56 are usually present on natural killer 
cell so it is present on the natural killer cell and neural cell and neural cell means cells of the neuron and uh, these are specially used for the adhesion adhesion okay then we have another cd molecules then we have another cd molecule we call it cd 106 now this cd106 are usually present on the endothelial cell of the vascular tissue okay now last we have cd206 although there are some other cd molecule but these are the main important and common molecule uh, cd molecule La we have another cd molecule we call that cd206 now this CD206 are usually used against, it is usually present on the dendritic cell. Dendritic cells. Okay. So these are all, these are all what? These are actually the CD molecules. Okay. Now each CD molecules, due to this CD molecules, we can identify that what kind of cells what kind of amino cells we have okay although there are some other cd molecule as well but these are the most important and common and uh, used in our daily life okay so that's all about the cd uh, or cluster differentiation i hope you understand about this video lecture if you understand so best of luck if still you have any kind of quest uh, question in your mind so you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that thank you so much for watching